Hi, YouTubers. Jeff Cote here with another session of Ask PYS. So we've got a fellow boater, uh, Stephen. And Stephen uh, is planning on doing a trip to Alaska, and he wants to know what his gallon per hour consumption is on his engine. Um, so um, he's got a Four Winds Vista 258. Um, and so the first thing for fuel monitoring is two. There's two things. One is, if you've got gasoline, it's easy. If you have diesel, it's hard. So just remember that. Diesel fuel monitoring is not easy, and the reason is the return. So not only do you draw fuel on a diesel, but you actually send fuel back. And not only do you send fuel back, but you're sending it at a different temperature. Different temperature means different volume. So the sensors have to actually be pretty smart to know what the temperature of the fuel coming, being pulled from the tank is, and what the temperature of the fuel coming back in the engine is, or back into the tank. So fuel monitoring on a diesel, we've done it, not trivial. Um, and definitely tons of sensors that do this, but ain't easy, and this is not a you know, afternoon project. If you've got a gasoline boat, the way to monitor fuel would be to buy something like, for example, Garmin sells uh, this, I think it's called the Garmin fuel sensor, I think it's GFS 10. They might have a newer version, but we've deployed that a lot. That sensor uh, doesn't have a return because it's just gasoline. So they'll actually just see whatever the engine pulls is what the engine uses and it makes the calculation all easier. When you're doing, when you're talking about measuring fuel flow for an engine, you're gonna be doing that not over NMEA 0183, but you're gonna be doing over NMEA 2000. These sensors actually need an NMEA 2000 backbone. I have a presentation just on that, videos just on that of course. Um, and so if you're going to be thinking about doing fuel flow for gasoline engine, you're going to want to have a Garmin, not a Garmin, but an NMEA 2000 backbone between your chart plotter or your instruments that are going to be able to display the fuel burn. And then also where you're going to be mounting the fuel sensors down in the engine room, which are going to be NMEA 2000. So diesel, not easy. Gasoline, pretty straightforward relatively, but you will need an NMEA 2000 a backbone and you also want to make sure that your chart plotter whatever generation it is has the capability of displaying fuel burn because you might have an NMEA 2000 port but depending on the software version it might not have the capability of actually showing fuel burn and in that case you would buy a dedicated little instrument uh, like for example we just did that for another boater we installed some Garmin GMI 20s they're little instruments about this big and those instruments allow us to display a lot of um, NMEA 2000 information. Maritron does the same thing. There is a huge selection of displays that you can show for fuel burn um, from multiple different manufacturers. But remember, gasoline easy, diesel extremely hard, and you'll need an NMEA 2000 backbone and an NMEA 2000 compatible display or chart plotter that will allow you to see fuel burn. So that was a great question. Thanks for asking, Stephen. Thank you for watching this PYS video. If you've got further questions, ask them down below or go on our website to fill one of the forms. Also, support to keep this YouTube channel ad-free by donating on PayPal or purchasing some merchandise on our store. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.